Hello and welcome to the Watchman on the Wall channel. This prophetic word comes from Heather Poundstone, Los Angeles, California. He uses the weak to confound the wise. The Lord has been speaking to me about the authority we have in Him and how powerful our voices are. I have two incredible experiences in the past few weeks. They have encouraged me and I hope they'll encourage you as well. I recently had the opportunity to speak against a Goliath. This is a Goliath I have encountered for many years as I have fought for education reform and for our kids. I've done several prayer walks and have spoken against this Goliath, but have many times been silenced out of fear of jeopardizing my career if I said too much. Well, no more. We are to fear God, not man. We are to go where he leads us and speak what he asks us to. The authority we have in him when led by the Spirit is huge. When I went to speak against this Goliath, I was amazed that one of the leaders of this institution was visibly visibly uncomfortable when I came into the room, almost like fearful of me, in fact. It was a spiritual thing, as if their spirit sensed the authority I carry in Christ. I did not have to say one word to this person to have an impact. It was supernatural, unlike anything I've ever encountered. I had prayed extensively, had people praying for me and was led by the Holy Spirit to confront this organization for their unrighteous standards. It was amazing. Even though I haven't seen the victory yet, I see the walls of Jericho slowly deteriorating. A few days later, I had the privilege of praying for a friend whose relative was in a coma. As I declared the Lord and I prayed, the fire of God came over me. I declared that she would live and not die in the name of Jesus. It is amazing what can happen when we allow the Holy Spirit to flow through us and we allow him to use us. The next day, my friend informed me that her relative woke up and recently got out of the hospital. He is the God of miracles. I felt like the Lord wanted me to encourage you and to share this with you. I want you to be encouraged that Jesus is no respecter of persons. He says that you can do all these things that he did and more in the name of Jesus. I confess that this has been a very difficult year for me. I've fallen into major discouragement at times. I'm amazed that God could use me in this way. He truly uses the weak things of the world to confound the wise. It has increased my faith, and I hope that it does for you as well. I believe that in the coming days, we will see the greatest miracles of our lives. The stretching and the shaking we've experienced in these past few years, they have been to prepare us. It has been painful. We've been at a breaking point. But God, in his mercy, had to take out the dross in order to make us pure vessels to be used by him. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you for this word of encouragement. I thank you, Lord, for our sister Heather. Lord, what an encouragement. Lord, I feel like I pray over and over, Lord, give me opportunities, Lord, Give, me, give my friend opportunities. Give us opportunities to be bold for the kingdom, to be bold for you, God. And I think of half a dozen this week alone where I allowed the fear of man to step in instead. Lord, we repent for being afraid of people and not fearing you, God, not having that holy awe and reverence for you. Holy Spirit, thank you for your mercy. Thank you that you continue to give us grace. And Lord, again, Today we ask, give us an opportunity to declare your word. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.